just uh, it will be very short. Just to, to give uh, you the, the one to, to to make a call at Pampol next uh, next summer. I apologize for my very bad accent, so feel free to, to ask me to repeat. Uh, uh, no problem. Best French accent in Hungary. <laughs> That's always been bad. <laughs> so uh, this is just. Um, I, I am going, my, my uh, presentation will be short in two points. First point on the Pample Bay. You have, before coming, you have to have a uh, uh, precise uh, point of view about uh, Pample Bay because many hazards on the beautiful, uh, at the same time, beautiful sites. Like this, this is Pample Bay. And uh, my second, my, the second part will be on uh, three anchorages. Uh, nearby Pample Bay, very close to, and uh, if you want to carry on after Pample, it will be, uh, I'll, be I'll give you three highly. So, that is uh, Pample Bay with um, uh, far the lost peak, uh, Tower Jumont, and Tower Humboy Lager. You see uh, here are the fishing boat of this uh, photo is taken from my It's a horrible place. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. A terrible view. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, let us go to the fact. Now, you see that Pample Bay is five miles long from the Charpentier to uh, Pample, here. Yeah. It is five miles. Coming from uh, Guernsey, you will give a large burst to les Charpentiers because mine, uh, le, les rochers du, 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 du Roro, covering and discovering. You see on the, the gray, the gray part, the, 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 the green red, green, 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 what is discovering at low tide, you see? The blue is a uh, permanent, uh, see, see? And all this covers on under us. A bit like the harbor. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, how to get to? How to get to? There are, in the world, four Four channels, four channels to get into the, the bay. One major channel, Channel de la Jument, and uh, three minor channels, Denou, Sarion, et la Trinité. Let us be more precise. So, uh, the, oh, no, no. So, uh, I said one major channel and three minor channels. You will, you will uh, arrive from Guernsey. First things to know that the currents, tidal currents, are strong. Uh, I, I think strong, maybe between three and six knots. So, when you arrive, you, you need to arrive, of course, before PM. Uh, the tidal currents before PM are first south, southeast, and then south, and then enfin, this way, this way, this way. <laughs> uh, the tide, uh, the before PM, the tide goes in. After PM, the tide, another uh, tidal current goes out. Uh, first of all, PM in English would be high water. High water. Okay. Mm -hmm. High water. High water. Mm -hmm. So, before uh, high water, the tide goes that way, this way, and after high water, it's going to So, you, you have to arrive with the, uh, the tide coming in. Mm -hmm. If you arrive, uh, I talk many times to the Arbor Master, but for the moment, there is no visitor moorings. And that is a real problem 
so you have to anchor. If you, you arrive and the locks, the, the gates are locked, uh, I have uh, brought for you the schedule of the opening gates of the, 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 the gate, you see. But if you arrive and the, it is very frequent for me, and the, the <laughs> gates are locked, you have two, two places where you can move, you can anchor two places. This one, where you see before, just before Tower La Junon. You have always plenty of water, okay, and no oyster beds. But uh, it can be very, uh, it can be very rough in northwest wind. So what I do uh, when in north, 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 north really winds, I, I go th this here. I am very sheltered by Il Saint Rion. It is much more. It's, it is much more. Uh, much more shelter. 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 Yeah. So, <coughs> two points where you can uh, anchor if the gates are locked. Uh, the locks. Close. 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 So. Uh, what if the winds are what is the easterly winds? Go back to Guernsey. Easterly. <laughs> so. Yeah, go to Ah. Okay. The, the major channel is here. But you have also three minor channels. First, La Trinité or on the last day here, much more nicer. You can go here. You see, coming from the north, you can go here. Only by, only by day, only by day, but at any moment of the time. <coughs> the second channel, my favorite, is very narrow. It is the, that way. <laughs> but only by day. <laughs> Only two or three hours before high tide, but it is absolutely fantastic. Because, because why is it fantastic? Because here you have a village, a stone village of the twelfth um, century. Twelfth century. We, uh, we has, has been uh, rebuilt, uh, but in the good uh, in the good condition. And a little church, yeah, and you go very close to, but only by day and before and after high tide. This one. And the third, the, the, a, a good, a good channel, is the Chanel du Delou. Yeah. See. Coming from the north, see. <coughs> you have a transit line between this white tower on Plouezec, the church of Plouezec. The, 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 this transit line is very, uh, is very easy to catch. When you arrive here, the transit line, the heading, is 260, depending if you are here or here. You leave, of course, you leave uh, La Jument La Gueule on the left. 260. And this is uh, um, the, the tra transit be this and the church of uh, Pruesec. So you see on the wall, four channels. One major channel you can take by day, by night, at every moment of the, uh, uh, of the, the tide. And the other channels, you, uh, you must be very careful. Et nous, saint rion à Trinité. Fort bon. <laughs> so, uh, this is Chenal de la Jument. You see uh, la Jument, la gueule, Lost Peak. Yes. At, at mid tide, you begin to see you begin to see the oyster beds. 
So you see why you <laughs> must be very precise <laughs> when dropping the anchor. Huh? Because if you drop the anchor, yeah, uh, it's a nightmare. <laughs> here, you have to, to put the anchor here or behind, behind Sion, but not too close. If the wind is uh, northwest, yeah. Uh, I, I gave you an example of the, um, uh, the tie table. At, at the moment, you, you will be to visit, uh, to visit me uh, in Papua, I hope. So, on the 25, you see the high tide is 9.53. It is uh, one 11 meters on 8. Low tide is uh, 4.12. Uh, meters 0, 0,7. So you see that the tidal range will be at about 11. Keep that in mind. <laughs> okay. At every moment. And it's fast. It's really and, uh, fast. And, uh, and uh, 20, 26, uh, 11 meters and 6, 0, 0. 27 is the same. So when we are North Brittany, always, always keep that in mind. You see that uh, <laughs> <laughs> at low tide, at low tide uh, I, we, we can, you can cross, you can cross the bay by foot uh, with um, wedding, with wedding, wedding <laughs> But. No problem. Uh, the, the, the snapshot has been taken in January. Huh? It is at the moment. It is certainly very sunny and uh, <laughs> Mediterranean. Uh, you see, all mud, all mud, mud. So at new t and at mid tide, Porsdon. Uh, 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 <laughs> right. uh, Port Stone, Kerpalu, and Pample uh, Church. Pample de Apital, yes. Ah, the, the oyster beds, and not oyster beds. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mistake. <laughs> you see, uh, in the bed. The, uh, so, no, we have. Uh, have you any questions about Ample Bay currents, uh, channels, <laughs> um, place, place, place to put the anchor, <laughs> place not to put? <laughs> yes. If the wind is from the east, where do you anchor? It's a uh, la jument, la jument, nearby tower la jument. la jument. But if it is uh, north east, you can. Be sheltered uh, near Saint Rion. But if, if you have any doubt, Jumont. Just. Uh, if anyone is thinking of going, please don't be put off the by. <laughs> I mean, it, it is challenging the navigation, and yes, it's, yes. but it's so beautiful, it's worth every second of the preparation you're doing for it. I say nothing, huh? Yeah, I don't have true. anything. It's I have true. nothing to say. And it's, no, it's true. I was lucky enough, yeah, I, I was lucky enough to sail with Francois from uh, Pampol last year and come over for the Nationals. And we stopped at Guernsey on the way and it was just breathtaking. It really was. But it's true, it moves fast. We were getting ready to move from Guernsey mm -hmm. and I kept saying but the, the, I can still see the sill on the harbour it, it's fine come on really lines <laughs> off Francois it's not ready and then within 20 minutes it was like up it was absolutely crazy but really really phenomenal and uh, what I want to, to show you now three very nice uh, anchor ridges just nearby Pampol and these anchorages, of course, I have tried uh, all these three. <laughs> they are safe and they are absolutely beautiful. Is that right? <laughs> uh, we, uh, you, you see, Pampol is here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
first of one we are going to spot on this one, Briek. Uh, if wind comes from the west, mostly in summer, west, northwest, southwest, this uh, anchorage we, is very, very short. It is nice uh, because uh, you have plenty of space. You have plenty of uh, place. Uh, only one uh, dangerous rock, but well, well marked. True, very well marked. And uh, here, all, all that coastline are very uh, dramatic cliffs. It looks like, uh, if you know Ireland, it, it looks like Ireland of uh, the very for west, no, from west, northwest of southwest. Second, second, uh, second anchorage, Port Blanc. Port Blanc is a natural harbor. It is here. See, it is a natural harbor and uh, putting shelter from any uh, except except uh, north north northwest but very uh, very well protected all the gray all the gray and green imagine that all the gray green is uh, uncovers uncovers at, uh, at, uh, at low tide so you, you, you have to go to Port Blanc by day because it is a little narrow in the entrance. If you are interested, I will give you all the way points to, to get in. But uh, it's absolutely, uh, you, you get in here. You have visitor moorings here. You have five visitor moorings. And uh, as it is not well known, it is, there is plenty of uh, space. It is a uh, very, uh, very interesting. Uh, it is one of my favorites on the north coast of Brittany. Piroski Rack is here. Um, Morlaix is a li uh, little further. Leseo de Brea are here. Uh, Tréguier is here. Tréguier. Tréguier is here. It is maybe uh, 10, 10 miles is uh, west of Trigué, of La Rivière du Jody. I do recommend this, this, this uh, number. And then, third, courage, uh, Ferlas. Ferlas, here you see the little anchor. Ferlas is interesting because uh, if you arrive on the, the gates, Pample gates are closed. You can be, you can, you can uh, put the, you can anchor very safely here. Here, but not here because <laughs> because uh, well, the between are the problem between there between are they on the vedettes the problem there the they the can't push going around, yeah. all day long. The, the, the problem is. About the ferry, there yeah. is a ferry all the time, be, be, all the time between Ile de Brea, yeah. very very touristic yeah. place, and uh, the Arc West. So if you if you put uh, your anchor just uh, before Port La Chambre, La Chambre, avoid Port Clos, just before La Chambre, uh, yeah, you will be very uh, you will be very very uh, very <coughs> safe. Good holding, and uh, you can wait yeah. here uh, also the opening of the, of the gates, and then go here, here, here. There is a shortcut avoiding to do to do the. But it is it is, it is no problem by there. It is no problem to go from the Ferlas, and it is wonderful because all this cost pink granite yeah. all around. So, so you we will not regret the time. When there is no wind, I go for a picnic 
<laughs> yeah. So, uh, just just a few a few photos to show that you you must keep in the channels. <laughs> you see, uh, if you get out in the channels, it may be maybe bad. So, in conclusions, uh, last but not least, <laughs> as you say, four, four reasons to go to Pampal, beautiful landscape, and a lot of things to do in the Doral Town as well. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, Abbey de Beauport, Be Beauport, Beauport Abbey, uh, Arc West, all the ping on it, uh, and the harbour is in the city. For, for those who know, so you you you, you live the, the the life of the, the atmosphere you have the atmosphere. Yeah. Well, okay, the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very bad. <laughs> so uh, challenging selling in French Treacherous is a strong strategy. It's not a uh, pond, huh? <laughs> Okay. I prepare for you, uh, my wife, um, prepare a fine dinner at uh, Capitanerie, the uh, 26 July, with magic entertainment. Oh, no. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> and we fine food and I um, prefer, of course, fine wine. <laughs> <laughs> it will not cost a lot. Huh? Very good cost. <laughs> but little. And uh, I have negotiated with the Arbor Master a discount on Arbor fees. Uh, for, for the association during uh, the. <laughs> well, so there yeah, are uh, four reasons to go to to five to, to, five, <laughs> five. five five to see see you. <laughs> <laughs> so any any um, my 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 wife uh, will be and, and I will be very uh, pleased to meet the most of you. Uh, and I have books. Oh, we're going back home. <laughs> 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 yes. Uh, Eric, uh, Jeremy and Fiona uh, nous font l'honneur. Uh, nous font l'honneur. Does the honor. Does the honor ah. to, to, to welcome you. So, 